suspected street-level drug dealers. Authorities in Covington and Kenton County hope you feel a little safer on their streets tonight. A day-long operation to catch drug suspects is winding down. Nine on your side's T Natasha Williams is live with more from a businessman in the area. Glad to see that crackdown. Natasha? Well, Clyde, the man who owns this business right behind me is more than happy that police are picking up the people he calls druggies who have been breaking into his business and chasing away his customers. Lance Sharp has been keeping motors rolling around Covington for two years now. But he's concerned if break-ins continue, his tire business will quickly go flat. It's been a big nuisance. I, I try to run this business as best I can. And I get guys like this that are on drugs that want to come in and steal all my tools, which cost me money out of my pocket. Late Thursday afternoon, Sharp watched his area law enforcement searched by air. And on the ground, dropping a dragnet looking for more than 40 street level drug dealers, searching homes, collecting evidence, and taking suspects away in handcuffs. For one woman, her curiosity led to her arrest. Officers were making an unrelated traffic stop, and a bystander walked up and inquired as to what was going on with the stop. It turned out that the, that young lady was uh, one of our wanted subjects, wanted for trafficking. Prescription medications, three counts. So we were able to serve that warrant. By nightfall, police had made more than a half dozen arrests. Their work, though, was far from over. Most of these complaints came from our citizens, and we've tried to respond to them as best we can. Well, it's a problem everywhere, uh, and it's one that uh, our community has very, very aggressively been addressing. Sharp is glad they're aggressively addressing the issue. He says not only did he have to endure a break in, but the crook even tried to torch his place. The fire has caused me 30 days of being down, which I lost money, mm -hmm. lost customers. Mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to bring it back, mm -hmm. and it's just been a big nuisance. It's been a problem. Now, so far, at least a half a dozen people have been arrested. We're still waiting on an update of those numbers. We also want to point out to you that a number of the people that there are warrants out for are not Covington residents, and police tell us it'll take probably a month to get all of those 42 people into custody. Reporting live in Covington, Natasha Williams, 9 on your side. But some signs of progress, Natasha. Thanks for that report.